there, Silver fans. Well, you may not recognise us. I'm Ricky Swanell. This is Jenny Woods. We're usually the voices behind netball, but they've done us up for the night, Jenna. We've had a great time we at the New Zealand time. Netball Awards. I know, and it is very nice to be able to say hello to you because, of course, without you guys, there is nothing like this and nothing like these netball awards that are the first, and they're fantastic. Well, you've had a good night. We've all had a good night. Are you happy with the winners? Have the judges got it right? Oh, look, I don't. Yes. I ha happy with the winners? Yes. I mean, I might have had a few different ones, but really, who cares? It's been a, a, a fabulous year, a trying year in many ways for the Silver Ferns, but I think they ended on such a high note with that win over Australia, which Laura Langman put so beautifully as pumped by 11, which I think was one of the highlights of the night for me. Uh, so it's ended beautifully on a high note, looking forward to 2016. I love Laura Langman's suck on that, sleep on that one over the summer Aussies as well. It has been a really great night and we've seen Dame Lois Muir here who is, I think without her, this sport wouldn't be what it is and it's a, a testament to a lot of great women that we are here tonight. It is and I think it's been a lovely night to tribute to Jonah Lomu at the beginning mm -hmm saying you know how he transcended all sports and one thing that I noticed this afternoon after the news of Jonah's death came through the tweets from around the world including netballers England netballer Sarah Bayman saying I'm you know bumped into Jonah when I was 10 and he inspired me and that's the sort of thing uh, that's marvellous and I think that's the sort of thing that Lois Muir does for a whole bunch of people for a whole bunch of reasons inspiration you said how big a year it's been. We started in January with a tour to Fiji. What's been your highlight of the year? I'm still trying to think of mine, so I'm going to ask you first what yours is and put you on the spot first. I tell you, as, as a fan, and believe me, if I didn't, wasn't lucky enough to have this job, this I would true. be a, a silver fan. Um, but for me, being in Sydney at the World Cup, that ga calling that game when the Silver Ferns beat Australia with Liz Ellis <laughs> on my right, that I was just fizzing inside and there were so many things that I wanted to say but of course in commentary you can't but uh, it, that was one of the many but I have to say the other one was that final test uh, in the Constellation Cup was in Perth I was sitting at home I was just about in tears of joy really and and pride in that team because I think you know we all know that they have come through a bit this side and uh, so again, I repeat myself, fabulous note to end the year on. Yeah, I think you spend a lot of time around these players and around these people, and, and while you do kind of put your, your professional bit to the side, you do, you're also a New Zealander and you want them to win, and I can remember that feeling going into that game in Sydney and how cocky some of the Aussie fans were, and the way the Ferns performed that day would be totally my highlight. So we've got a real change now. There'll be no Casey Corpo next year, because yay, congratulations Casey and new baby Corpo are on the way. Um, but also a new coach in Janine Southby. But where do you think? You think we've got lots to look forward to? Oh, can netball fans be heartened? Can yeah. the silver fans be heartened? Yes, yes, they can. They can be heartened. And they can be heartened by what's going to happen in the next week or two because this, uh, Janine Southby is going to run these trials. We've got um, an, you know, an international series coming up over the summer. There is always tons to look forward to. New ANZ championship season. So, you know, basically you guys just have to keep up. <laughs> so... On that note, the party's just getting started. The awards are done. We better get back out there, but it has been a great year, and I hope the Silver fans have enjoyed it too, um, and you get on board, and, and as Jen says, keep up with everything that's happening next year. Stay tuned on the Silver fans page as well and get involved with Netball New Zealand because they really are some wonderful players and some wonderful people involved in the sport. We're going to go and have a good night.